Tell me some goal, other goals you guys have that are not gym or work. Because we talk work it all the time because we're just a workout freak family. But tell me some other stuff you have that are outside of workout related. One of my personal goals is get a tarantula. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never give it up. I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never give it up. I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I Welcome to a new episode of Breaking the Cycle Podcast. Whoop, whoop. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about if kids should set goals, and if so, how to do it. Breaking the Cycle is a podcast on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so you become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of man your daughter would one day want to marry. These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so that so they can learn to think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves so when they eventually are confronted with these life situations they are not in shock and have an idea on how to approach settle it settle down settle oh, down what a run on sentence my gosh <laughs> holy crap did, did you hit any of sound effects already I bet you did before yes. I put the headphones yes. on which one the whoop whoop one the hell is the whoop whoop one the cheer one like whoa 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 that's the whoop whoop what's it called the names of them are so stupid the name of them cheer. don't even a lot of the names don't even match what it actually is. All right, so what are we talking about today? We're going to be talking about if kids should set goals, and if so, how to set them. All right, so let's jump right into it. Before, oh, wait, wait, before we, before we jump in, no, 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 hold on. Yeah, I'm about to flip shit on you this week. Are you going to do a joke on us? How about, who wants to start with a joke? You're going to do a joke? Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Plot twist. Exactly, you weren't this ready for this. This was not planned, by oh, the way. Oh, gosh, okay. Remember we, you walked in my office this morning, and I was hiding my phone and hiding my book? So you were searching was, up jokes. And I was on, used AI to get these, and they came out so horrible. The AI gave the worst. If that's the future of AI, and AI is supposed to be the future, we are in trouble, because these jokes were freaking horrible. Okay. The AI on Discord calls me bro I've seen. Dude. I've seen almost every single joke on YouTube. <laughs> the AI calls you bro uh, and I'm not, not on, yeah. So I told to give me a riddle. That a parents can say with their kids. And it gave me a riddle and it was so dumb. So I said, all right, give me another one. And it said, another form of AI. And it just gave me this whole explanation of what AI was. I said, no, another riddle. And it said to me, we have no previous interactions talking about riddles. What riddle are you talking about? After I just asked it. So AI apparently. That's what AI does. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, that's it's, what happens when the Discord one that has amnesia. It's not that AI-ish. It's got some it, ways it, to go. It for, not very it intelligent. But it does do some cool stuff uh, like yeah. that we yeah. when we mess around with it. Of course. But, but then it has some serious brain farts. All right. So who wants to hear a joke? Me. Me. I do. So how does this go? Whoever, If either one of you can get like a competition, if whoever yes. can get it first out of you two? Uh, no. Why don't we be? Okay. Fine. Yeah. All fine. right. <laughs> oh, God. These, and think, keep in mind, these are the best ones of the ones that AI gave me. All right, and a lot of and when you put riddles, you know riddles are supposed to rhyme. Did you know that? If you put in riddle, every single one that AI came rhymed. It was Soup, a rhyme. Dupe. No, watch. Listen. Super is duper. No, but this is this one. I asked for a, a not a riddle, but when I asked later the ones, they're gonna rhyme. Watch, you'll see. But all right, I fly without wings, cry without tears. Wherever I go, darkness follows me. What am I? Oh, yeah, I'm going to hold my button over the thing and give you a little the buzzer. The black hole? <laughs> I don't know. I fly without rings. I fly without wings, cry without tears. Wherever I go, darkness follows me. Evil? Ten. Nine. Oh, no. oh I'm gonna, this is payback for you what little suckers. This? What is this? I don't know. And I didn't even write down the answer, so you, won't even, you can't even see it. This is like payback. Seven. Fly without wings, Six. cry without tears, and wherever I go, darkness follows me. Night, Three, the moon, two, moon, closer. clouds, clouds. She got it just in Wait, time. Clouds. I fly without wings. I cry without tears raining. And Technically, wherever I go, darkness so follows shadow. me. Shadow. Ah, oh, that was good. Mine are pretty good. good. Okay, that, that was from AI, so I guess it was a pretty good one. And Midge got it, so Midge got a point. Zero. I have a I have zero point. 
All right, so let's get into we, we you guys could do one later, but let's get into the the goal. So first, let me ask you two. You yeah. use two kids. Yeah. Do you think kids should even have goals? Like, yes, definitely. Yes. They should. Of course, they need goals. Really? All right. You, all right then. All right. Before we get into that, do you think most kids have set goals? No. no. Percentage when you're in school, what percentage of kids do you think set goals? Zero. Nine. Really? Probably like well, maybe some 0. kids. Zero point one. Maybe some kids who like had. A dream that they really believe, or just life. like a dream. I wanna yeah, have some, I want to have. I want to make a million older. dollars when I'm older. Maybe that could be a goal, but they didn't realize it. But kids who had like intentionally set goals, that's not just like a dream or a wish. Zero. What about goal? What about more like simple, superficial goals? Like, oh, I want to get that new Xbox game. Yes, yes definitely. definitely. So that was, the, and you supposed to definitely. So you think that was like the only type of goals that most kids set is like, I want the new. Not most kids, all kids. I want the new Nintendo game, or a new whatever bike or something. Not even a bike because that would I require get a too much physical. When I'm older. The bike would require too much physical effort probably these days. No dirt probably. bike. Electric bike. I, I've always Electric wanted bikes. a dirt bike. Ones that ride for you. So, so you think kids don't set goals, but you think kids should set goals. So why do you think? Like what's going on there? Like that doesn't make any sense. Goals are goals are usually hard to obtain. If you make them, so why don't kids? So obtain. is that why kids don't do it? Probably. probably, and probably they don't even know what it is because no one teaches them. Schools don't teach kids how to set goals, what goals are. They just teach you what's one plus one, Billy. They don't talk about any. I never even thought about that when we talked about we did an episode a while back about things they don't teach you in in, in school, school they yeah. should or whatever. That's like a huge one. Like, how do you not set like goal? What about like planning? Do they set like planning or scheduling or I don't know, time blocking or your schedule? Well, anything like similar to that? Like planning only, your day, planning your life? The only thing similar to like scheduling in the calendar and stuff is they usually, well, in all the classes I've been, they made us memorize what we do during the day. Yeah. Like certain days we do like math first or. Friday was usually the day that everyone would always look forward to because it's like in- entering the weekend and then they get like slack, they like slack off of teaching. And the cool thing is- They slack off teaching after the, whatever. All right, go ahead. Yeah, and, and the cool thing is during math, if you were smart, you got to go, you got to go to like this round table in the back where you could just hang out and play some math games. But we always didn't, we usually didn't play math games. So besides goals for like a new Nintendo game or some shit, do you, so you think- like, what about what they want to be when they're older? Is that, it's kind of a goal. Like, I want to be an astronaut or a cowboy. I want to be a cowboy or a well, soldier. Well, technically, that... Or a cop. Well, say or a they say, man, a oh, man. I want to be this when I'm older. Say they grow up and completely change their mind. When they were little, they probably weren't doing anything to reach the goal. All right, so how many kids, when they say, I want to be this when I'm older, what percent do you think become the thing? Probably 10 to 20. I don't even think it's 20. Like, because the things that they say want to be, like, I want to be an astronaut or a cowboy. How do you be a cowboy? I was going to go, I mean, I guess could. Yeah. Uh, Sheriff, basically. Or like uh, the the Yellowstone. What's his name? Sheriffs always don't ride horses. You know that, right? Me and Mitch ran to the sheriff. We were were going there to get my concealed carry license finalized at the sheriff's department. You had to go there to get it finalized. So she, she came with me. And they, the sheriffs walked in, and one of them was like a sheriff. Sheriff, he had like, like jeans on. Deputies, he and that a, was like the real sheriff. He had like jeans on and a the big old belt buckle, but then the official county sheriff like uniform shirt on, but with jeans, like with the tan and cowboy boots. Yeah, they're like the tan, like the uniform the top, badge. but not the uniform pants. Jeans with cowboy boots and the big old badge, sheriff's badge, and a cowboy hat. The rest like of them had just hat. rest of them had just baseball caps. I think he had a cowboy hat, like he was a sheriff. Sheriff. And he waved and like made Midge's day. She's been journaling about it ever since. So anyway, so you think most percent don't become what they say they wanted to become. Why do you think that is? Because they don't do anything to go towards what they. Or do you think they? What about when they're a kid? Do you think well because they don't understand like goals to say, like you used to say, I want to be a scientist. Don't care. You used to say, I want to be a scientist. Like when you were younger. You need to go to college for that. And really and like, what exactly is a like a scientist can mean a million different things, and and 
And when you break down that a scientist what, what, like is just sitting there with what beakers and I don't even know, yeah, I know. reading I, and like, studying for like decades at a time, stuck in a room all like, what is a Lab. science? So it sounds cool. Like, oh, I want to just like do stuff. I want to be a scientist. It, not even like breaking it down. And then we kind of like talked about it and you're like, eh, maybe I don't want to be a scientist, but maybe there is some kind of cool scientist. I don't know if it was, if you set a more specific goal. So maybe they're not more sp- specific enough. What do you think? Oh, that too, and it's probably like a different percentage like for things, but I think the biggest one is either it's too hard or they're just too lazy. Or both. They're too lazy because it's too hard. (laughs) Yeah, or another one could be like when they they set a goal like I want to be this when I'm older, they probably don't understand what you actually have to do to get that job. Like go to college or study for a really long time. If your or- eyes are looking at the mic, but your mouth is over here, it does that. Look, <laughs> your voice comes out of your mouth, not your eyeballs. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool if it did though. Or both. Or you could hear out of your eyes. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Because then if you're deaf, then you still have your eyes to hear. All right, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, what are we even talking about? All right, so the... the, the, the what are some things? What are some things you think that kids want to be when they're older, when they're young? Like, and we're talking young, ten and under, because that's when like kids say like those like fairy tale ish kind of things. When or, they have good imaginations. What are some things that you think kids say? Like, I want to be this when I'm older, and then they actually become that. What are some things that actually are like follow throughable? Cop, fire, fireman. There is. There was this one kid. Yeah, those two could be. There was. Those are like doable and. I mean, anything's doable. Uh, those, the, both the, the fireman job is tough. Or like depending on what you do. Like David Goggins, for example, he's a smoke jumper. And you have to do like any fire, mo- Any fire in the beginning, is, uh-huh. is they go through tough training. Like this stuff is hard. Yeah. So in second grade, there was, my teacher, the guy she was going to marry, he was a firefighter. And he came to the school a lot to teach us about like fires. And he would do the fire drills with us. And he taught us about a lot of that stuff. And also in that same exact grade, in that same exact class, there was this one kid. He said he wanted to be a doctor. And I could tell you serious about it and he was going to become a doctor because he would like he would always be looking at doctor stuff during class on our free time. He would always. So that's one kid. Like, but it, a lot of, thing, a yeah, lot of people do- say they want to be a doctor. Doctor, cop, and fireman. But a lot of people think kids say they want to be a doctor and realize how much schooling and studying and smarts like, eh. and testing and years of like, that shit is a you lot of school. Was- and that one you can't avoid. Like other, other things you say, oh, I don't want to go to college. It's like there's no such thing as I don't want to go to college. I don't want to go to because me- then after college they got to go to medical med school. school. After medical school they got to like intern somewhere and work yeah. under someone you know, for a while. You know, in order to become a teacher. Oh, some kids said they want to become a teacher too. In that's a doable one. It, when you want to become a teacher, you have to go to like eight to twelve years of schooling, and then you have to learn so many different types of languages. I don't know why. It, like my sixth grade teacher, she learned like two different languages in order to become oh, a teacher. That's probably just certain degrees you needed to have like mm-hmm. credits of a different language. And also, like in high school, is, we had to have we had to take a different language class like every Spanish? year. Spanish. I took Spanish for like six years. What do you know? Hola. Uh, hola. Como esta? Cuanto cuesta? What does that mean? How much is this? <laughs> Como te llamos? I'm purposely saying it like with a horrible accent. What is that? I think it's what's your name. All right. So Wait, goals, I want to say, say one more thing quick, quickly. So when I was seven, we were in second grade. Let put the timer again. We were in second grade and we were, we were doing like this little thing. Like, what do I want to be when I grow up? And you like drew it out and you like said the details and whatever. And I, I put, I wanted to be a Marine when I was older and kids were actually making fun of me because they, they, some of them knew what it was, but they were just making fun of me. I don't know why. I don't remember why, but they were making fun of me for saying that I wanted to become a Marine when I'm old. What were they making? What were they saying about it? What was there to make fun of? I I don't know. And we had another episode talking about what do kids want to be when they grow up, but this is different. Setting goals. Yeah. So let's what, move on. What's another another area I think kids might have goals in is in sports. Like if they're actually yeah. into sports, they want to either be a baseball player, a basketball player, a football player, but also as a kid. They probably have goals in that sport if they're serious, if they're like athletic, like they want to win a championship in the oh, little league or something, there, or their high school high school state championship. Like goals like that, I think they said. Do you ever remember 
Did you ever have kids when you that you know or in school that had like sports related goals or even fitness related goals? In that same exact second grade class with that doctor kid, one of my best friends, she was already doing national soccer like all around America. So a lot of times she wasn't at school because she was out traveling for for uh, soccer. Oh, and other kids who would have fitness or sports goals. They would want to get a goal in soccer. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, the, don't. God. Please don't do that again. God, also, that before we move on, who wants a joke? Or are you going to do a joke? All right. Let's yeah. hear it. All right. How about do it back to back? We'll ask you one and you ask us no, one. No, just go. We don't okay. Have one at a time. We can't. Ha- I can't handle two of these at a time. Are you kidding? All you right. <laughs> Why don't scientists trust Adam? This fly is pissing me off, by the way. I'm going to get my chop. There's two of them. I'm going to get my chopsticks. Like like karate Daniel, Daniel kid. Son. Did, All right, no? let's Okay. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Cuz they are everywhere. Every they're in everything. They're always on part of everything. Okay, technically, yes. AI gave me that same one. They always make everything up. They make everything is made up of them. That's why That's I knew it. That's one and a half then, I think. AI gave me that same one when I was looking and I thought it was really? so stupid. Because I searched up on AI too, the Discord AI, and same. it gave me the same one. I was on an app I that uses, well, because they all AI. use chat GPT, so they use I, the same brain. Yeah, I searched, I searched up chat GPT, but the- I didn't AI use that one because that one was so dumb. So, that one was so crappy so to me. I didn't use that one. But I get a point for that. I get a point and a half for that. I got that right away. I get one, so I have 1. 1.5. That's basically cheating. I, whatever. I have 1.5. Midge has one. I have And Tyson has the big old zero. goose egg. Zero. Why, All right. why can't it be like a regular egg? All right, let's move on. Goals. So what are some goals that, how do you think kids do, like say kids set goals. How do you think they do if they miss their goals? If they fail their goals or don't achieve their goals? How do you think they, they do? Shrug they it off. Set they one. shrug it off. They shrug it off? You think kids do? They make a big deal about it and they or, don't set, they don't make another goal to try to Or they do don't it like again. pursue it, kind of. If they, I think... If a kid is, usually probably, if a kid is to, because if you're saying only 1% of kids set goals or almost no kids set goals, probably if they're setting a goal, that means they're a little thinking a little differently. So if they fail the goal, they're probably going to either keep trying or try again or whatever. Maybe. It's been sitting there for like months. Here you go. So maybe they, you know what I mean? They're already at a level where they're not going to crumble under it because they Pressure, failed at yeah. a goal. So if they fail it, they're either going to keep trying or try it again or set a different goal because if if only 1% of kids are setting goals, probably they're the more advanced, bigger thinking kids. You know what I mean? That's the yeah. way I think of it. Yeah. So And also speaking of failing goals, one of my goals was to deadlift uh, one and a half times my body weight. And the day that we recorded this, I we were at the gym and, today was le- and the day was leg day. And I was about to lift 155 pounds. And I failed it twice. I tried it two times, and I failed both the times. And we just saw a video yesterday or two days ago about that girl who wins all those powerlifting competitions oh, yeah. where she cleans and snat- and jerks like one over one and a half her body weight, right? Or uh, no, that, Two times was her record. Not on the jerk, on deadlift was. Oh. Deadlift, yeah. Then deadlift... She said her she max, two twenty five. She two max was two, in her life was two seventy five. A ten year old girl, like holy shit! I did two seventy five today in one of my sets, and it's I have to work. It's not impossible. I have to work to get it up there. I could do it for obviously if it's for reps, but a ten year old girl is doing that weight and picking up for me is like I can't just like pick it up like it's a toy. I have to like pull it, you know, put some work into it. Got to use the girl. And a 10-year-old girl, my like, max, damn, we got to get stronger. Holy my shit. My max for deadlift is only one rep, but it's still my max, 106 pounds. 106? That's good. That's, that's one and a half your it's weight triple almost. digits. When you did it, it was probably one and a half your weight. All right, so kids probably set goals in sports, but then what are some what are some actual goals? What goals do you let Tell me about your guys' goals. What goals do you guys have? Oh, right. Why like, don't you go first? Let's think like longer-term goals. Not Not – job or career because we talked about that in a different like episode goals, so just goals. what are some goals you have i don't know in different areas like think of like personal goals professional goals meaning like not personal like school work related or we call business. that professional or some little businesses you want to do or health and fitness goals what are some that you have mitch what you got one of my long-term goals that i do want to do by the end of the year is bench press at least 35 pounds per arm by the end of 2023 
35 per arm? Yes. I can already do 20. How much do you weigh? Almost 70 pounds. So that's, so that's, so that'd be 50% of your weight in each hand. 30. So you must be working hard to get reach that goal, huh? <laughs> like focusing on that weekly to get there daily almost like that's a big 20. If you could do 20 now and 35 is a goal, that's almost double. Think about it. 40 would be double. So 35, that's a big jump. Yeah. So you're working, you must be working, you must be working really hard on that, right? Yeah. But I think, I think if you practice on like a bar, I think you, you could do it sooner. You mean 70 pounds, but she said a dumbbell. So that's a different goal. Oh yeah. Like you have to choose it depending on the exercise. Even like if I say, you say your deadlift goal you want is this, it has to, you have to be clear. You're talking about a trap bar, a straight bar, straight bar is much harder than a trap bar. Like I guarantee, I bet you you could do 155 on a, on a trap bar. I bet you can, or close. You did a big jump though. You went from 135 to 155. That's 20 pounds. That's over 10%. It's well over 10%. It's like 15% increase. It's actually, a big so my, so 20 and 20 each arm, which is, which is actually what I thought was my max deadlift. Isn't my max deadlift. It's 40 total. I'm not deadlift, bench press. But actually during the 24 hour challenge, I got my max where it was a 45 pound bar with 20 each arm. It's 40 total, not 45. So that one was my max, but it's bar, not dumbbells. So what are some, tell me some goal, other goals you guys have that are not gym or work. We talk work at all the time because we're just a workout freak family, but tell me some other stuff you have that are outside of workout related. One of my personal goals is get a tarantula. Hmm. We really want a tarantula. And that might be coming soon. Yes. If, on the Freak Family yeah. new YouTube show. That yeah, and, if, and in fact, my second goal, which is also in... You per- could, to put on the headphones, you could hear. When, like right now, I could hear I can't hear myself. Uh-huh. So now I know I can hear myself, so I know to stay here. Oh, okay. Headphones are dead. No, they aren't. <laughs> So another one that's like personal slash professional is actually you were saying that the getting a tarantula might be coming up on our family YouTube channel. We uh, my other goal is actually start posting on the family YouTube channel, start posting family videos. Oh, start oh start posting family. So I something like that. Here's the problem with something like that. If you just say, it's all right, broad. I'm gonna start posting on the family YouTube. Like channel. I thought, like so. You all you have to do is one go short or and one you're done. short, and you've accomplished. Oh, I accomplished a goal. Or get even more disciplined. Or to say, I'm gonna get even more disciplined means I'm gonna, I don't know, eat one piece of lettuce tomorrow with my dinner, and now I'm even more disciplined. Like all it has right. to be the goals. Wake listen, up one second earlier. Exactly. Listen, goals need to be more clear and more specific yes. and more that you could say yet whether or not you got them. Just to say, I'm gonna start posting on there is not really a goal. If you said something like this, let's say you want to read a book or you want to read and you say, oh, I want to read more. Okay, well, technically I've read is one letter more. The letter yeah. uh, and you've accomplished your goal. Or you could say, I want to read more dash. I want to read one book a month or one book a week or one book a week because goals because goals could be like that could be off of like habits or I want to read 30 minutes a day. Or maybe I want to read 30 pages a day. Or maybe I want to read 10 pages a day. Because maybe 30, 10, 30 minutes a day, maybe it's not enough. Maybe you, you're, gonna ru- you're just going to waste your time. But say, if I have to read 10 pages a day, then you're going to take your time and no matter how long it takes. So goals could be like that. Then that's, a, that's an ongoing goal that's going to get you somewhere. Then you could say at the end of the year or end of the month, did I reach my goal? Did I read 10 pages a day? Or did I read 30 minutes a day? Or did I finish one book a month? Like Then, then you could say... Because if you can't track it, if you can't, how could you ever find out if you did it? If it's just saying, oh, I want to be more disciplined or I want to start posting on the YouTube channel. You know what I mean? So break yeah. that down and get more more specific and detailed on that. And books, books is a good goal to have. Like how yeah, often, how many books do you want to read? And things like that. Because you, you guys should both create goals on books. How many books do you want to read a, a, a month? All right, if I want to read one book a month, figure 300 pages in a book, give or take. So then you say, all right, if it's 300 pages in a month, a, a book, I want to read one a month, about 30 days in a month, how many pages, 10 pages a day. about 10 pages a day. How long does 10 pages take? Maybe 30 minutes. 10 minutes. All right. I'm read, or 10 to 30. No, one page takes more than a minute. You're in a real book, you don't even realize oh, it. Oh, yeah. You don't, especially you have to go slow and look up some words and stuff. So, and then figure out, then you set the goals like that. And that's how you break down the goals. It's like, I don't reverse it from the, from the goal. So what are some goals you have? All right. So some of my pref- per- personal goals are get a third dog. And speaking of a third dog, we didn't get one. We actually found one. Just French bulldog. Yeah, we just, French we, bulldog named 
Glenn. 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 His name is Glenn because his eyeballs are popping out of his head. And he's got these cherry things that some French Bulldogs have where these bulges come out of his eye. He looks like Glenn, if you ever saw The Walking Dead, when he gets smashed in the top of the head with a bat and his eyeballs pop out of his head. And Negan says, Courtesy of Negan. I hit you so hard, your eyeballs are popping out of your head. That is gross. He's going to say, you're like, you took that like a champ. Oh, that was Abraham. He said that to Abraham. Oh. Abraham didn't deserve to lie like that. Comment down below if you agree. If you watched yeah, The Walking Dead. Yeah, comment down below Walking Rip one Abraham. Our, one of our top series that we've seen. All right, on that note, who wants to hear a joke? Me. My. All right, pay attention. You know, mine are deep riddles. Hopefully, you didn't get this on your AI, too. I, sp- I don't remember what it was. I didn't write the answer down so you couldn't cheat, and I don't remember the answer, so we're going to have to figure this one out together. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears, but I come alive with the wind. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears, but I come alive with the wind. Ten, nine. Eight. This one's kind of a hard one, actually, now that I think about it. That's why I didn't remember the answer. Seven. D- did you, do you six, remember? Five. Oh, gosh. Four. Pressure. Gravity. On. Air. Two. Uh, flies right on top of my jar. Light, lightning. Thunder. All right. I'm going to give you a hint. It's a character in the series 100. A female character. Clark? How would that fit? I don't know. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears, but I come alive with the wind. Damn, these flies are annoying. Okay. I come alive with hope. The... That wouldn't make any sense. Speak without a mouth. If I give any more hints, it's like... Okay, the, a female character... In the 100 series on Netflix. If you haven't watched 100, that's one of our, our other Behind the Walking Dead series that we've watched that we liked. Did she die? Nope. She was just literally in the last episode we just watched yesterday. Octavia? How does that fit? Yosa? You're saying everyone but her. Echo. Ding, 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 ding. You get like 0.5 points for that. Yeah, it took like five minutes. I get. I, gets, yeah, that's point like two five. That was like that's messed 30 up. No, seconds. No, because it was 10 seconds after the hint. And I gave like so many hints. So Tyson has 0.25 points. I have 1.5. Mitch has one. All right, so let's go back, jump back into the goals. Talk about some failed goals that you've had in your lives. What are some failed goals? I'll even start. You, we, when we talked about it on one of the other episodes, I failed at being a cop. I was trying to be a cop, and it took four years to do it when I came out of the Marines, and they told me I failed the psychological test. So they told me I was too crazy. I failed the physical test. They told me I was too fat, and I failed the background check. They told me I was too bad. So I failed at being a cop, and at the time, here's the thing about goals. Here's the thing about goals, and goals and failure go together because you're going to fail a good yeah. amount of your goals. Like You have to fail a lot in order to succeed a lot. So goals are goals and failure go together. If I didn't, and I thought that was the end of the world at the police with the police. Like when I thought that was like, Oh my God, I worked on this for four years. Now I'm not hired and it's done. And that was like my big plans to be a cop. If I did that and never would have started peak physique and never started the gym, never would have been probably in California use kids probably never would have been born. Cause I would have stopped working at that gym that I was at. So wait, did you were, did you meet mommy then? Yeah, at the gym, right? At, like shortly wait, after did that. you? Oh, you didn't even meet her. Maybe before, you after, during. It doesn't matter. Oh, somewhere around that time. But if you guys have watched one of the previous podcast episodes, then you know that my father was called obese yeah. by a doctor. Yeah. So goal and also goals could change. Goals could change. You could fail goals, then you you could not achieve them, or then you can be a kid and think, oh, I want this to Jesus. You just spit all over the place. My God. So you can, your goals can change. You could think that when you're a kid, you want to be something and then you get a little bit older, like a teenager or whatever, then you're like, I don't want anything to do with that. That was like some little kitty fantasy. What's some, what's some goal? I want to be a unicorn rider. I never actually got to say any of my goals, so I'm just going to go over them real quick. We don't need to hear them all. Just, we just we'll, we'll I know. one or two. One of my professional goals is to start selling my program Freak Fit for, 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 by the, before the end of the year. It's like a workout program for kids. I want to start selling that before the end of the year. And just some health and fitness goals that I've failed are the we did two 24-hour weightlifting challenges and the the last one I actually got my goal and destroyed it. 
but the first 24 hour weightlifting challenge, I wanted to get 150,000 pounds and I got 146,000. We failed. No, we failed uh, every, until this one, we failed almost I every know, 24 I, hour challenge. On the push ups, we thought we were going to get 10,000 push ups. We, th- we, they didn't even get 5,000. I didn't even get 5,000, I don't think. And I got, got 2,120. And then on the 24 hour PFT, we first wanted to get, we were talking about getting 24 rounds and 20 rounds. And you I, wanted I got, 24. You, I got and 19 then you rounds. Wanted 20. And I said I wanted 15. 15. My final one so was you 15. passed 15. Once, I got once we 16. broke it down, once you narrowed it down. Also, rounds. the 24 hour video game challenge. You guys wanted to get a certain oh, amount of Oh, we wanted to get a million kills. Oh, yeah. We wanted to get a million kills. And we got kills. like 30 or 50 like or 60,000 or yeah. something. So but we, it's like very hard to track. Those 24 hour challenges are hard to judge when you never did them for what you're going to get. Okay. So something else I failed. I failed well, something else I failed was that I want what I wanted and I thought was like our meant for us was that bunker house. That house that had the bunker. Yeah. Oh, had a 19, 1900 square foot bunker underneath the house here in California that we found. And we What's wanted it. We put a, a offer on it above asking price, and we but we didn't get it. And we thought that was like our lost chance to get any good house. And then we ended up here, which overall, except for the bunker, I think this is a much better land and property and house overall. Like, yeah, because the, at the bunker house, the only land there was just concrete. It was huge. It was a huge yeah. space. Like a little, I think a little more space in here about it the same. It even had an outdoor bathroom. It was like a little cave. It was so cool. And there was a slide in the pool. There was a slide. And a whole outdoor TV area and Yeah, but barbecue. if we wanted. But you, yeah, you a lot of stuff we could build here. any of those. Yeah, but we house. thought that like we tried so hard for months we were, to like, get so that. like so sad. We put this offer in this house just as a backup, just in case that fell through. And then this actually happened. And we're like, oh, I guess we're going to take that shithole. And we now here we are in like the home. Yeah, we used, of, to, call the we used to call it this place the dump. And it's basically, it was a joke that it's a dump because it's basically the home of our dreams here. We'll, I'll, I'll die in this house. Yeah, we, pro- we probably would have never gotten Dragon and Ricky. So like when things happen, you have to, you have to think about it. When something doesn't go your way you have to, and then like months later and years later, you're like, oh, thank God that thing didn't happen because it led to where I am right now. So you have to learn. Imagine if you could think that way while you're failing so it doesn't affect you at all. Like knowing that one day you're going to be glad that it didn't happen. For some reason, it's going to lead you to where you're supposed to be. If you could think that, if you could, but if you could think that while it's happening, think of how powerful, how much of a superpower that is to be able to do that. Like during the previous 24-hour challenge, one of the main things that was driving me was the last 24-hour weightlifting challenge that like I, I got more than double, nearly triple of what I got last 24 hour weightlifting challenge. So what are some, what are some of your not serious? I mean, I know you have serious goals. You want to start a business. You want to get paid for the business by the end of this year at 12 years old, you want to be making money in a business, training people online on zoom where you're training, not just homeschool kids, just kids and their families online. You have some, what, what else do you have to add to it? Of your goals. So besides getting a tarantula. That, and that one's for the, me too. Tw- the 35,000. And 35 pounds. 35,000? 35, 35 pound dumbbells. What else? Well, this is more of What's like, a more serious goal? Give me a, one serious one. Because those are like health and fitness is like, yeah, they're serious, but they're kind of fun. Tarantula is like, I want to acquire this thing. What's one serious goal you have? I want to do another 24-hour push-up challenge and beat how much I got last time. I don't know how ever that. My elbow is still not recovered over a year later. So actually, one of my failed goals was for the 24-hour push-up challenge. My goal was 1,000. <laughs> oh, that was so And what'd you get? And I reached 999. You know you I fought finished- that for like a, like a month and a half, arguing that you had 1,000 when it was so 999? Sad. You like argued with us? I finished us? the 1,000th push-up right after the last second. After finished. the bell of 24 hours, literally 999 push-ups. Yo, I was like... All right, what's one not serious, kind of fun, different goal that you have? Uh, all right. So this is a little weird one, but I want to get a hairless guinea pig. Goals are animal and arachnid related. We've got dogs. Like we don't have enough freaking, it's already a zoo here already. We, so we want to add like a, nine pets. So we want to add a hairless guinea pig, another dog to the dog, the googly eyed, the googly eyed dog we have here, plus Blend. a tarantula. Hopefully awesome. we find Freddy's home. Yeah, we're going to go look for his home today, see if we can find him. And so that's and one wait, on. not serious goal. Another Anything one else? not serious goal is I want to get 49-inch chess pieces. They're like a life-size chess. tall. Yeah, it was like $1,300 on, on Amazon. Those are yeah. pretty cool. They're like tall, 49. It's four over four feet. 48 inches is four feet. That's why it's at the bottom of my list. 
I'm like four three or four four. So it's like almost as tall as you, the chess pieces. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool to have outside. I wonder That's how gonna much be a YouTube they weigh. Video too. I don't think are probably not heavy? that heavy. Probably Guys, not. make sure you are following the Freak Family YouTube channel because there are going to be some awesome videos coming out on there. All right, I think we get the point on the goals that kids should set goals, be able to be really willing to change your goals, and a lot of your goals are not lifetime goals. Like you haven't even, you have some in your head maybe about business, and you know you want to be an entrepreneur. You like you have broad goals now. You know you want to work for yourself, kind of. Oh, you know you want to make money. You know what kind of life you want to live. You want to have a life of freedom actually, and things like that. But you don't. You don't have to. They don't have to be so serious right now about the future goal, those long future goals, because the smaller goals you set now are going to kind of set the tone for that, and then you'll figure it out out on the way. You know what I mean? As you find yeah, your way. Yeah, because like, like things like are like stepping stones, like one thing to the next, kind of. So you like really will never know. Like ten years ago, we never thought that we we're going to eventually start a YouTube channel with all four of us. Yep, everything leads one thing leads to the next. So you Ten don't know. years ago I wasn't even live. <laughs> All right, let's So wait, actually, so I wanted to say that Oh wait, dang it, I forgot what I wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, I got a got another joke. What do you got? What has hands but cannot clap? Clock. Oh my god. How? That's one and a half. Clock. They call it a second hand, a minute hand, hour hand. So that's one and a half points. So that gives me three points. And that I didn't see on AI either. Mitch has one. Tyson's 0.25. All right. So anything else to wrap up on the goals? Anything you guys want to add about goals and no. kids setting goals? And what, 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 other ty- what types of goals should you be setting? What area, what categories, and what type of like lengths? And if maybe you're not setting, you might say, all right, I want to be a cop. That's fine. You could do that. Can you change it? Are you stuck in that? Are you a failure if you don't be a cop? Are you a failure in life if you don't be a cop? No. You could change shit. Shit changes all the time. All right, so what what types of goals then should should kid be setting? You should be setting like personal, professional, and health slash fitness goals. Like and professional goals. might mean like learning or yeah, school learning, or like the books. Anything. That book thing would be almost a professional. professional-ish goal. Or what kind of job you want to have, or like you guys want to do a garage sale. That's a that's, that's another a professional, professional goal. goal. Have. The kids want to do a lemonade stand. Professional goal. You want to start a YouTube channel. That's a professional goal. Personal goal would be. Like you want uh, some of your like the guinea pig stuff and the spider and all that other freaking zoo stuff that you want to do. All right, who wants to hear jokes finish off? Yes, I got. Oh, okay, I got point five out of two. Whoever wins this win. Oh no, wait, because I have. All right, if some I'm some I'm something all people set. But see, listen to this. It rhymes. I'm something all people set, but many often forget. I'm not a soccer net. Yet I'm a target you must get. A goal? Yes. Wow, he got a point and a half for that. It's goals. That was the whole point. I said to AI, tell me a riddle that parents could say to their kids about goals. And it's sent to one that the answer That's is good. actually goal. It's something all people set. How is that point and a half? It took him a while. No, he got that right away. I got the, like, right, the second, second I was done that. reading it because I read no, it twice. He got that right away. If I mean, you battle for that for another month and a half, I will end you. Well, one point. Don't worry. I'll battle for two. I did have to say it twice. He did wait for me to say it twice and it's the longest. I think 1.25. 1.25? Deal. One, because right. I we'll destroyed negotiate. it. No. We'll negotiate one. I'm raising it to three months. You want me to give you one more? I could do one more so Mitch can try to yes. come back. So now Tyson has 1.5. 1.75. 1.75. How? Mitch has five, one. That's That's yeah, five. it's 1.5. 1.5. Tyson's no, 1.5. Last. Yeah, 0.25 we gave you. Oh. I have three. Mitch has one. Tyson has 1.5. You want me to give you one more? See if you have a chance to come Yes, back. please. Yes. This one was Free the one that I didn't suffer get. six months. All right. Hey, I'm the end of every race. Without me, there is no embrace. I start everything. Finish line. Goals? Legs. Ground? 10. So now the start, you have no chance oh, to get oh, 1.5. Oh, God. Mm. I'll even say it again. See, these are pretty, these are figure outable, but it, this is a good one, actually. I'm the end of every race. Without Winning. me, there is no embrace. Losers? I start losing everything. And I actually made up, I added that last part. See how the first two rhymed and the third line didn't? I added that third line in myself. I start everything. I added it in myself. I made Attitude? It. Ideas. Five. 
four, three, two, one. Discipline. Uh, have, hit, hit yourself on the buzzer that. Yeah, I can't hit it, but that's still satisfying to hear happening for you two. All right, look at the, I have it written down, so look at it. All right, I'm at the end what? of every race. Without me, there is no embrace. I start, I start everything. everything. I'm circling them for a reason. Look at the words. Rules. Look at the words. I'm at the end of every race. Without me, there is no embrace. I start everything. Motivation. Oh, my God. Look at the words. Race, embrace, everything. What's at the end of race? What's at the start of everything? The end. What's at the end, literally at the end of race? Finish line. Literally at the end of race. E. and I'm the letter E. You got that on accident, but you don't even get any points, Zach, I had to literally tell Wait, you. Wait, I start every I am at the end of oh every race, E. God. Without me, there is no embrace. Take away the two E's, there's no embrace. And then I add this part in, I start everything. See, it starts everything, E. No, I, no. That is a good one. That is a good, that's better than the crap that you guys send. Don't say that. All right, that. so kids need to set goals. They need to set daily goals, weekly goals, yearly goals, and then some like broad lifetime goals that maybe they're going to start working towards and maybe switch on the way. Yes? We agree on it? Yes. yes. So we need to start making sure we help other kids start setting goals. That's something you need to do in Freak Fit is have them setting goals, yes. weekly goals and fitness goals and like there you need, you need to be work. like, hey guys, who's achieved their goals this week? Let's talk about that on the break. But first, let's All right, do this cheesy, no, cheesy uh, I don't know what the hell you're even squeaking about over there. But yeah, let's take this home. Let's finish this off. What do we got to tell them? Make sure you like smash. and you make sure you smash that subscribe button. And click the notifications bell. Like, comment, share. Do all that. Give us a review if you're watching on Spotify. Make, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Case, no, no one told you yet today. today. You, you are, are freaking awesome. awesome. No excuses. You know. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never you know give I'm it up. Take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never so let me break. break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I ain't never you know give I'm it up. Take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried